Hi, I'm Red Danny. I'm Jay Arnal. I'm Ria Garigal. And I'm Margie De Leon. And this is the fourth episode of the Filipino Freethinkers podcast that's also a video. And tonight, our topic is going to be communion, confession, and the RH bill. JL? Yeah, so recently, this uh, letter has come out to the, through social media, Facebook, Twitter, um, about a parish in Queen Hills, there, it's the Santuario de San Jose, um, about wanting um, pro-RH Catholics in their parish to go to, commun- to go to confession before they take the communion. Uh, they want people to confess about their support for the RH bill. And I think in um, Catholic um, tradition, this confession would be basically a renouncement of their support for the RH bill, which is, oh, that's, not, that's not classy, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the CVCP have um, said some really, really interesting things about this statement. Um, I'll give it to you. Yeah, so first of all, when the statement came out and there was backlash from many Catholics and other secular secular people in the country, um, they denied that anyone from their hierarchy ever made the statement. Yeah. They denied that, they refuted claims that that statement came from the parish of the Santuario de San Jose. And they were even accusing the pro-RH advocates of drafting that statement as black propaganda to get people angry. Yeah. At the Catholic as Church, as if um, Catholic R- uh, Catholic supporters of the RH bill needed any more reason to be angry with the CBCP. Yeah, but it turns out that the case is that the statement did come from that parish, yeah. and it was drafted by the parish council of Santuario de San Jose. The yeah. statement uh, was made in an interview by the secretary of the parish to the ABS-CBN. Yeah, yeah. So it turns out it didn't come from the pro-RH advocates, it did come from that parish, and the statements made by Melvin Castro of the CBCP were lies. That, and he was saying that, 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 yeah, that the intentions of these people who fabricated the, the announcement would boomerang on them, but what's happened is the boomerang hit the CBCP and Melvin Castro. Yeah. So. so even though they didn't actually release it, it still... They still plan. They still planned on doing it. So, so yeah. were they lied? It's either they lied or they actually plan on forcing Catholics to renounce their position, which they shouldn't have anything to do about in the first place. Yeah. I mean, what's heartening is uh, most of the people who reacted were Catholics themselves. Yes. Yeah. So there were even some people. I'm not sure if it's connected, but they walked out of yeah. mass because of the anti-RH stance of their parish. Yeah. Um, there have been some reports of people doing that yeah. during the, sur- the homily. Right. Yep. So it's good that um, even Catholics are taking um, a stand, a yeah, very exactly. definite stand um, for the RH bill. And yeah, we encourage people to do that, to um, stand up for what they think is right. They can stay in, their, in the Catholic church, but I know, for me personally, I don't quite see why you would do that. But if you want to stay in the Catholic Church and the uh, the hierarchy of the church is doing something that you can't find conscionable, yeah, do these things like stand, walk out of their of the parish when they speak against the Irish Bill. Uh, really, be outspoken about your um, about your support for the Irish Bill, especially as a Catholic. Maybe, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. Blackmail is blackmail. Yeah, blackmail is blackmail. That is yeah, I think blackmail. It's spiritual blackmail. Mm-hmm. And the act of confession itself, it's not like it's enough to suddenly reverse your stance exactly. on these issues. It may work on like grave sins, actual grave sins, like. Like, I don't know. Molesting. <laughs> Actually, masturbation is a grave oh, sin. Oh, they consider yeah. masturbation. Yeah, a using grave condoms sin. is a grave sin. Homosexuality is a grave sin, right? Yeah. Or Performing homosexual, homosexual act. acts oh, okay. is a grave right. sin. Right. But it's okay to be a celibate gay. But do you know the actual policy that the Vatican has with regard to confession and grave sins and receiving communion? Oh, uh, what? Because there's a similar issue that's going on in the states. And I think this was in 2004 when uh, politicians who were for abortion and euthanasia were being denied communion oh, okay. by the churches. Yeah. And the official statement from the Vatican, from, from Benedict uh, himself, I think, 
was that um, it, as public officials advocating abortion and euthanasia, and I think uh, so, something like the RH bill, which has contraception, which is also and equally also, a grave uh, sin, these politicians should be denied communion because they were in a state of uh, disgrace. Disgrace. Yes. yes. But for people who support them, who support in them, the um, they weren't going to be denied. But these people were expected to not receive communion unless they they confessed their sins. Okay. And there's an interesting yeah. There's an interesting take. Um, like if you voted for these politicians for their support of abortion and, or euthanasia or the RH bill, uh, you're not supposed to receive con communion until you've confessed your sins. But if you voted for them for something for other, other, than, other than the grave sin issues, then you can receive communion. So mm -hmm. um, where the Vatican stands on this issue of denying communion, they're actually with this statement. Uh, written by the people, right. uh, the parish council of the Santuario de San Jose. But what's so absurd is, um, how can you tell if, right? Yeah. I mean, they, vote they can't yeah. like enter our minds. Yeah. Not and yet. That's what they can <laughs> do. Um, but they can't, I mean, Shouldn't. you can go to the confession and make a big deal out of like how you're anti-RH. But then, I mean, as long as you believe what you believe, as long as nobody like did a lobotomy on you, yeah. I mean, you still... It, it's pointless, this communion banning thing. Yeah, they can receive communion. I mean, um, they can receive communion. Right. I mean, they're not really going to deny you. I'm, in I'm interested about whether someone wearing a pro RH t shirt will mm. be denied communion. Yeah, like, I just, you like, just happen to find a physical this shirt. sign that, yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Or if you're an outspoken yeah. pro RH person, I guess. But the thing is, the, the official stance of the hierarchy of the church, all the way up to the Pope, is that these people do not deserve to receive communion if they are supportive they support of these, uh, these yeah, yeah of the RH bill of contraception of pills empowerment of women <laughs> <laughs> well, I, promoting hmm. responsible parenthood yeah. interesting even though I encourage um, Catholics who do not like these uh, these things happening in their church in a way the church has every right to do this really repulsive uh, yeah. to yeah. impose these rules, yeah. to impose these rules. It's, it's their club I mean, in yeah. a way it's their club you join their club yeah. you, join yeah. the club, you don't have to follow their yeah. rules it's actually, still, you yeah. have to make the rules yeah. clear you can't yeah, but I still do think that it's a good thing that um, people in the Catholic Church would want to try to change the church no matter how, how misguided they how think their policy, their policies are yeah. yeah so. It's interesting how they position the sermon and the communion, yes. right? Because for a lot of Catholics, the most important part of the, of the Mass is the communion. And they made it so that the communion comes after the sermon. So you're forced to listen to, yeah. to whatever these priests say, which I think um, in the next few months next is going to be about the RH bill, like the other it's weekend. Sunday I mean, it's already RH. started. It's already yeah, started. It's happening. Yeah. And yeah, uh, I, I admire the people who have the guts to stand up and just walk out of that sermon. Because compare it to a television show that's controversial. Let's, let's use Nita Negrita. <laughs> okay. Like, people are split on this issue. Some people think that it's offensive. offensive. It's a show where um, it's about this Filipino, African-American girl. Um, it's about her life. But then the uh, kid actress is, they got this Barbie Forteza, which is a, who is Chinai. It's a Phil Chinai Philippine Chinese girl. White as white can be. Um, and they just slathered her on yeah. with... With they just added her black like, makeup, blackish makeup. Ba basically, yeah. it's blackface. It's black a black, yeah, black blackface black girl. Yeah. yeah, like her lips are obviously red, and <laughs> she probably has white yeah. palms. Or yeah. it's not even realistic. Yeah, yeah it it's not looks even. It's bad makeup. It, it looks. It looks like she was dipped in oil. So and, or chocolate. And or chocolate. yeah, <laughs> and this Tasty. issue is splitting people. I mean, it's controversial. It's polarizing. Some people it think it's okay. It's for. It's for the story, it's maybe it's an actress, it's a performance. Yeah, it's, yeah. Maybe. it's art. Maybe it's art. But on the other hand, there are these people who think that That's there's offensive. it's offensive. Yeah. There's a history about blackface being right. used as a stereotype. Right. And 
but whether you're for or against it, I mean, if you're for, if you're against it, the least you could do is not watch the show, right? Yeah. Like, like uh, turn it off, switch to yeah. another channel. There's no doubt in my mind that some people would ask for the show to be boycotted, mm -hmm. for the network to yeah, be boycotted. They have done that. Right. They have done that. But well, the yeah. least you can do it's is not just watch not watch the show. Yeah. Just turn it off. Just ignore it. Or yeah. walk out when yeah. somebody else is watching the show. You don't have to watch it. But the thing with the RHBL sermons is you're already sitting there and you're you can't change the channel. Yeah, you're waiting you for the communion. Yeah, you're yeah. waiting for your regularly scheduled communion, yeah. but you're not going to get it. And you can't change the channel. So what do you do? Uh, you walk out. Well, yeah, you could, you could walk out, but you won't get the communion. You won't. It's, it's, yeah. they're, they're basically using... It's your, it's, they're forcing you to choose. Yeah, they're forcing basically. you to, to choose. It's and kind of like a political weapon. Yeah, yeah right? they're yeah, using it as a poli political weapon for right. blackmail. Well, it, it's mixing re uh, religion and politics. But maybe um, uh, the Catholics could see this as an opportunity to voice their disapproval of that message. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, using the Nita Negrita example, if enough people do not watch this show, the ratings will be lowered right. and yeah. less uh, sponsors would advertise in the show. And the producers get a clue yeah, and yeah. Then, about how much this affects people. And they, they won't make shows like this anymore. Yeah. Right. And the same way. Yeah, in the yeah. same way, like if enough Catholics um, walk out in well, walk out of sermons, uh, maybe they'll get a clue. The priest will get a clue, people around the country. Another interesting yeah. way you could do you could protest against it. When the collection tape comes around, just pass it on. Or yeah, that's yeah, another, thing. another thing. You can do. Yeah. Or another thing, maybe I'm using <laughs> using the same analogy. Maybe you but can uh, change the channel. Like look for churches oh, yeah, that don't churches that, are, that yeah, don't replace do. their sermons with the Orasha Emperata or RH Bill videos or serm or lectures. There are churches that are um, for the RH Bill, right? I mean, the Catholic, Catholic Church. Church? Is, no, no. Um, outside of the Catholic yeah. Church. Yeah, there are. Well, there are. Yeah. Uh, for one, there's uh, the Episcopalian Church. Right. Yeah. Uh, the there are progressive churches. Yeah. 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 If you're a Catholic and you are for the RH Bill and you want the same kind of ceremony. Yeah, basically the Episcopalian, the Episcopalian are branch, yeah. branched off from Catholics. Yeah, it's okay. pretty much the, the same. same thing. And you won't get the anti RH yeah. sermons. It's a step up, I guess. It's a step yeah. Up, definitely. Yeah. yeah, but I guess um, for some Catholics, that move is too drastic. Yeah, so yeah. they could maybe research on churches that, that deliver sermons that are related to the doctrine that they, they choose right. to believe yeah. in. Yeah. And that's not so politically charged like the RH will. Yeah. And I heard uh, some people just do reruns, like of. Old yeah, of sermons. old sermons or okay. old videos or okay. old announcement. It and it's. I guess. Yeah, so I think that's the least that that they could do. Yeah. Anyways, it's it's good that it, this issue, even if it's either it's fake or it, it was never meant to be um, released in the first place. It, it I think it it still just gives uh, a good um, publicity for issues that really need to be talked about. It just yeah. forces people to reconsider their affiliations with the church. Especially, um, it, it's very interesting that this was brought up because um, it really focuses on the hypocrisy that, that the church has been... Yeah. Um, I mean, recent, recently the, there was like this really, really strange uh, article up on the CBCP website. Yes. I do not think it came from the Fil from the actual Philippine bish bishops. Maybe it was a repost. No, it yeah, was a repost. Yeah. Yeah. It was a repost. But it was it on was, the site. It was on the site. Yeah. And it was talking about Separating, separating religion from politics. Right, because yeah. they were lauding. Um, they were actually, yeah, they were yeah, lauding the the Egypt um, revolution, the the youths of the the secular youths of the of Egypt, Egypt. Re 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 uh, congrats, revolution. Congrats, secularism. Yeah, congrats, secularism in Islamic countries, not Catholic yes, countries like in the Philippines. What? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Because it's Islam, yeah. so yeah, it's okay. <laughs> they they practice that. For that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. CBCP, so they can move on to Catholicism. Practice what you teach. I mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, what would like if you're if you're really for um, secularism, if you want, if you want, if you're asking the Islams to the Islamic Muslims. countries to separate their religion from politics. If in fact you're yeah, why congratulating yeah, them why, for yeah, doing that, yeah. why not do it in your own country? Yeah, where it's badly needed. Yeah, I mean, yeah. going back to the communion thing, um, it was it, it seems to me that. Um, the CBCP wasn't intent on denying it at, 
until we reacted yeah. huge yeah. to it. Yeah. 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 I have a history of doing this. Yeah. Um, I think back in 2008, I, I read an article about um, they're, they're, they tried to pull the same thing in, I think it's in Cebu. Yeah. Yeah. Where they also, they basically pulled the same thing where, yeah, it came out, oops, okay, you, uh, you won't really do that anymore after all the outrage. Oh, it's still related to the, to the it's RH. Still also, it's still also related yeah. to yeah. the RH. The communion threat. Yeah. They're yeah. so yeah. wishy washy and. Yeah. Um, they keep, they yeah, keep yeah. doing, they keep using it as. Um, tools. A weapon, yeah, yeah. Tools. So yeah, but they're ve- being very careful right now about not offending too many people, because yeah, they're they're on shaky ground. Um, they're losing um, people because of this this RH issue, bill, yeah. yeah, issue. And I guess um, what we can do is ask for more clarity from these people. That's the least they can yeah. do. Yeah, um, what we can do, uh, um, the the Filipino free thinkers, is maybe interview or get an official statement from the CBCP and ask them what really is their stance on communion and confession and about whether um, people who who are for the RH bill can still receive yeah. communion because their official doctrine says that um, technically if you're for the RH bill you can never receive communion. Yeah. That's, that's what they say. Um, you should confess your sins but at the same time um, as part of the confession you should reverse your support for for such yeah. a measure and that's not going to happen so are it's these people it's really not going to happen we're starting to kick ass in congress yeah yeah in the senate they've uh, the the priests have pulled withdrawn from yeah, yeah they they pulled out, out, yeah. Pulled talks. out from talks yeah and well i guess they're still working on they're still working they're still managing to work over pinoy but yeah, we don't really need his support to push the bill through. Well, we we will ultimately need yeah, his support well, yeah, to yeah, not yeah. veto the bill yeah. or to maybe still put it in the priority yeah, measures. Yeah, but, yeah, but but yeah, that's um, blow, right now yeah. let's focus on where we are. We're yeah. in Congress. Plenary uh, hearings are coming up, yep. and we expect more support from you guys. Yep. And for those who support the RH bill but cannot go to the hearings or to the rallies. What you can do is maybe wear a pin inside your churches, or if you hear sermons that are against the RH bill, consider walking out or choose a church that maybe does not uh, lecture. Or if you're all. feeling especially ballsy, why not wear a Damaso shirt? Yeah. Um, just <laughs> don't be afraid to speak out. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Don't be afraid to show your stand because the more support we get for the RH bill, um, the more that we get to convince Pinoy, yeah. for example. And actually, yeah. we are in the, the people who support the RH bill are in the majority according to that survey. That's that true. Or, or yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. previous surveys have yeah. shown that yeah. time and again. You and are in the majority if you support the RH bill. Don't be afraid of these men in funny skirts. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for listening to this episode of the Filipino Freethinkers uh, podcast. That's also a video. My name is Red. I'm JL. I'm Ria. And I'm Margie. Thank Next you very time. much. Yeah. Bye. Bye.